Hello everybody and welcome back to MI Combo Gaming. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the bug fixes that have been going on um, since the beginning all the way up to the most current version, which is uh, version 1.6. Uh, and then every time there's an update or every time I record and there's an update, I'll go ahead and uh, list the updates and list what it covers and see if that's something that, uh, you know, those people that don't look at the patch notes and things, that that's something that they can uh, use later on. Or know that, hey, you know, there's there's bugs that can be fixed. Also, if you guys do have this game and you're playing it, make sure that you get on um, Steam and definitely let the the developer know that these these issues or bugs that you're experiencing are going on it'll just make gameplay all around for absolutely everybody that much better so you know us as a community can help the developer develop this into a game that we all really really want to play i mean it's going great so far um he seems to be listening um and everything starts you know uh starting to take place i mean this is starting to turn out to be a really good game Okay, so the first bug fix update was August 10th. Um, says AI Vambies would damage players once the attack animation was triggered, even if the player moved out of attack range. Now, I'm noticing that that one is still going on um, and may need to be re-looked at. Um, the next one is save game would freeze player from resuming play with out reopening and closing the setting menu. Okay, I never experienced that one. Pressing Alt and right click on the item in the inventory was removing the item if no crafting station was open. Well, I can see how that would be highly annoying. Uh, moving on to... Let's double check and make sure that's all there was. Yep, yeah, okay, that's all there was for that. Okay, update version 1.2. Um, there's a fix. Game should no longer prompt any VR settings when loaded. Uh, it says let him know if it's still an issue. So there's, there's something we should do again. Uh, fix, there was a delay in death animations when Bambies were in the process of their attack animations. I'm still noticing this one again. Um, I think the Bambies need, need to be worked on a little bit more um, to make combat uh, not necessarily enjoyable, but kind of like a improvement for life for us, I guess. Um, fix interacting with chests and UI was open. If a player would die, you would respawn with the UI still open and frozen. Uh, another one's fixed. Some power-related issues were fixed. There were a few reasons why overall power was in the minus. Um, a change. Add to the fish description. Some could not figure out how to get raw fish, and rightly so. It was not easy to figure out that you needed to drop the fish on the ground and then harvest it. Uh, he made some AI changes. I have started to work a little on the AI and have changed a few things. Better pathfinding. They would sometimes get stuck on trees and other things. AI damage distance, once again tweaked. Um, I'm still noticing that they're damaging you pretty far. Um, may need to revisit that one again. Uh, AI can now retreat if their health is low after it's being attacked. It is just a small retreat. They will come back to attack you. Uh, when AI hit players, it increased the opacity of the blood drops on the player UI. Oh, so he increased the uh, how light or dark the uh, blood droplets were on the player UI, so it became more capable of seeing it. 
Um, number five, he increased the attack animation speed. I found it to be a bit easy to dodge the slow attacks of the Bambis. Well, it may be a bit easy to dodge them, but you really can't dodge them because they can still hit you from however far, and not only that, they still hit you because the animation seems to be behind the attack anyway. Um, so let's go to update version 1.3. It's got a few more bug fixes. Uh, fix animals, still attack and damage the player base even after death. Uh, Vambies would still attack and damage the base in retreat mode and fix that as well. When eating meat stew, players should have been able to increase their max health to 200 before this fix. It would max out at 110. Um, I think I was watching... Who was it? Was it Cage or... Gameage? One of the two, and... They ate the meat, meat stew, and this was just recently, if I remember correctly, and their health only went up to 110, so I don't know if you have to eat multiple meat stews or how that works. Change when players would have no more of any type of hunger stats, such as protein, for example, health would drop by one every second. That would result in players dying really fast. I've reduced the amount of damage uh, from one per every second to 0.1. This will give the players more time to recover and if they find the appropriate foods needed. That's a good change. Um, version 1.4 update. Uh, let's see. Fix the gate doors. They would open strangely every now and then. Yeah, I've seen that where you one side would open and then every time you tried to close it, the other side would open and just kind of a you'd have to delete the fence and then I mean the gate and then redo it again. Um, fixed base pillar LODs uh, would or should the pillar float in air? Wording on that's really weird. I'm not sure what he was talking about. Um, was able to fix items like cloth, for example, in the regular workbench when it should only be able to be crafted on the loom. Many items had the same issue, so you were able to craft things in places you weren't supposed to, which made it kind of, you know, cheating, I guess. <laughs> not necessarily cheating, but easier to get the armor. Fix AI after being killed would sometimes not despawn and float across the ground. I think it'd be kind of interesting to see. All right, we're heading up on to uh, version one point. I mean, yeah, version one point five update. Um, this update is primary. Fix the major issues with the player's GPU overheating. This is probably caused because I did not cap the FPS. So he changed the FPS to 60, like the majority of other games. It seems to cause overheating otherwise. Uh, fix workbench would not let players craft an item that was in their inventory. Or so basically, what it is, is is if you could craft an, an item in your inventory, the workbench wouldn't let you do it. I was trying to craft arrow. Was it arrows or a bow? I think I was trying to craft a bow. Um, and it wasn't letting me craft it on the table and I had to actually get out of the table and get to my inventory to craft it. So glad to see that's fixed. Um, fixed players standing on unbuilt ghost foundations would not get attacked by AI. So this one was highlighted. Um, I, f it was either cage or game and just, uh, games or videos again uh where they were experiencing blood moon they jump up on top of the uh uh ghost platform and then the ai would well of course wouldn't attack you and they took care of it fairly easy um version 1.6 update hi everyone uh a few more fixes uh, fix number one: If you would, uh, if you would have second builds such as a campfire or drying rack, for example, and you remove an item from one of them, uh, items in the second, if any, would be removed.
if you would have second builds such as campfires. I'm assuming because I was having issues earlier where I would be inside uh, pulling items from my smelter and I would grab my watermelon that was outside or my corn that was outside the wall on the opposite side. So I think maybe that's what he's talking about. He got fixed. Um, fix a blue prop book in the military camps that was stuck between two dividers. Some players thought that it was tech blueprints and causing confusion. Well, it clearly was not meant to be there and was removed. It seems like a very small and minor fix. Um, unequipping mining helmet would keep the light on the character as if the helmet was still on. Change. The resource part of the backpack will be visible by default when interacting with chests. Previously, the food part of the backpack would be visible by default. That's kind of a nice uh, quality of life change right there. Um, change. FPS options and the sync added. Players can now set what frame rate they prefer to play with and toggle the VC on and off. Please make sure you check the these settings if you haven't already got copy the installed so and then he shows a picture of the new settings and stuff like that so pretty much that catches us up to what's going on in uh all the updates um so far it looks like he's been uh posting an update every day to every other day just depending on uh how much work he's got to do uh I mean that for me that's that's pretty nice to see a developer that's on top of it and listening as uh, people in, in the community are giving him you know their feedback and that's what makes this most important for this game right now is to get everybody to you know let him know so as the game progresses the mechanics of it get better and we t we start to experience a much better better gameplay so. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy the vid uh, the footage of me building. Um, I uh, didn't have much recorded as I went camping and uh, was not near my computer. So I uh, just recorded a little bit of building footage. Uh, if you guys see it, if you guys watch it as far as it goes, you'll notice one time I die even though I'm not being attacked. Like the Vambi's not swinging his arms at all, but yet I'm still getting hit. So that's uh, kind of weird. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the video and the footage. And uh, as always, keep gaming for fun. Thank you, everybody, for watching my videos. If you like them, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If not, you can give me a thumbs down. Anything's greatly appreciated. Thank you.